Ah, I lost you all there. You all seemed to disappear. What a shame. There, we're getting one or two idiots on, of course, and um, trying to ruin the program. You always get a minority. And to ruin things for the majority being funny so there we are anyway not to worry about that the only thing is it now means that tonight's show will be in two parts so there you are your back to Stephen Weirmouth well done Stephen nothing gets past you I say well spotted excellent stuff your back phew Ryan David Scott excellent James Muir Brian Keswick and Stephen Menzies Eddie Doby Sr lovely to have you all with me again sorry about that little interlude but there we are it happens with one or two idiots on as i say trying to re stop blocking folks as johnny grief i've got to block the idiots Jordy, the people that come on trying to make a nuisance of themselves hello from court bridge what happened there says ryan david scott i think um what i did was i touched something and of course it's so sensitive Hello, Scotty, it's Lynn Donnelly and three lovely cases from, uh, lovely cases from Lynn Donnelly, one of the country's top hairdressers. So there you are, Lynn Donnelly, out at Orchard Park in Glasgow. Uh, wonderful. And uh, I think she also does pet grooming. So there you go. Glad to see you again, says Madge. Scott Wishart, first time, all the way from Florida. Lovely to have you from Florida. Thank you so much. Robert, you're not nice, says Jordy. No, not at all, Jordy. Uh, uh, Mr. Scotty McClue. Oh, Douglas McPherson. We are a professional, you know. We should be able to recover from that point of view. Once we get on to the television programs and the radio stations, then you won't have any of that. But uh, the stuff is so sensitive. Say hi to the wife, Tracy, says James Adamson. Chris Spires, good evening, Scotty. I remember you from your days on Halloween. Hallam FM. Hallam FM was a wonderful radio station. I thoroughly enjoyed Hallam FM. Big, big, big following in Sheffield. There, so there you are. Excellent. Gary McClure is watching. Dinky do. I think it's Facebook playing up, says Angie. No, I think I touched something there, Angie, and it just seemed to all disappear. Uh, I do apologize. Block Robert, please, Scotty, says Jordy Grieve. Jordy, there's more chance of me. Uh, what could I say? Taking a wee run to Timbuktu and back during the program, there is a blocking Robert. So there you are. Lost you for a minute, says Julianne Scott. We're back. Scotty, are you familiar with a band called Dream Theatre? Says Joe Gibbons. Yes, I am, Joe. Um, it rings a bell. Uh, John's with us. Lovely to have you with us. And Julianne Scott. Fantastic stuff. Uh, if you wondered what happened there, Scotty McClure went on a short informal walkabout. So there we are. We lost the feed, but we're back to tremendous stuff. Um, Canna Lost, Scotty is the best, says Annette. Thanks very much. And uh, thank you, Lord. Appreciate it, says Robert Devlin. Not at all, Robert. Not a problem. He's a dafty if he thinks I would want to lose somebody like your good self. Scotty, I won moon tickets on your show once. When can I go? Do you know the Doug? That's right, we gave you some tickets to the moon. <laughs> oh dear. Um, they are a progressive metal band, says Joe Gibbons. Excellent stuff. Um, tell you the truth, I had to make water, says Angie. Not oats or me. <clears throat> Here is water. Fantastic stuff. The wonderful Spike Nesmith is watching. If you ever get the chance, get on to YouTube, Scotty McClue's YouTube, and put in Scotty McClue interview to Grumpy Critics. T W O, Grumpy, as in Grumpy Critics. Two Grumpy Critics. So there you are. Robert Devlin is blocked, Scotty. No, he doesn't, Jordy. Enough of your nonsense. Um, so there we are. Brian Murray, Dinky Doo, and Ron Stewart. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Right, folks, if you've just joined us, if I've popped up in your feed and you think, who on earth is this? What's this about? You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. And we're live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Doo. Now, I apologize. Last week's figures 
were down a bit. So I did contact Facebook about it. They've got a new algorithm, and um, the figures were about a tenth of what they normally are. Now, we can obviously do without that. So there you are. So if it means we have to share the whole thing ourselves, then we will do it. But we are at show 74. Not bad. So the next show next week, uh, God willing, weather permitting, would be show 75. Excellent stuff. What happened to Scott FM's as Mark Gippert? Uh, what happened there? There's Geordie Grieve trying to bribe me. £20 if you block Robert, says Geordie Grieve. Geordie, I'd rather starve. So there you are. Than take your money to block Robert. Sorry. It's not like me to walk past a shilling, but no, no, I'm sorry. Friends come first, right? So there you are. Scotty, you're a bright guy. Yes, but as a zebra, white stripes or white with black stripes, black with white stripes or white with black stripes, I don't know much about it. I know I was trying to cross a very busy road one day, and somebody said there's a zebra crossing down the road, and I thought, well, I hope he's having more luck than I am. Uh, so there we are. Scott FM got sold. And we never knew what happened uh, with Scotty McClue. Something funny happened behind the scenes. Get my meaning. So there we are. Uh, dinky do you bang us, says Steph McElvenny. Dinky do you bang us, Steph. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Uh, so that's what's going on there. So I don't know uh, if a zebra's. I would think a zebra is actually, but he's not actually um, black and white. He's got grey bits. So there you are. Um, I dinky do in Doncaster. That was hilarious, Scotty. Also, McClue's pies. We still laugh about it now, says Chris Spires. Chris, I loved Doncaster. Donny, remember that. And uh, fantastic. <coughs> Scotty, did the Jazz die in 2012? Says Jordy. No, the Jazz have never died. They went through a difficult patch, and it seems like they're coming out the other side. So there we are. Steph says thanks. Um, does Scott FM not get replaced with a real radio, Scotty? Yes, it did, Ryan David Scott. It did get replaced with real radio. So there you are. But um, I did ask the programmer at the time. Uh, because he had access to me and he could have put me on to Scott FM, but didn't do that. And uh, I think from the Scots point of view, that was not a smart move, but there you are. Uh, why do black cats far look brown in the sunshine? There's a puzzle. There's Angie Thompson. Well, Angie, as you know, I've always had black Labradors. And sometimes in the sunshine, you'll see brown bits in the black Labrador's coat. Especially if they're shedding their coat, then you, the fur can actually get quite brown. So there you are. Um, <clears throat> you got a bomb affect for telling the truth, says Rab Hill. No, 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 no. Uh, it wasn't to do with that. I did tell the truth always. Uh, not a smart move indeed, says Ryan David Scott. So there you are. There are one or two people in radio that uh, do some not very smart things. And the outcome could have been a lot different for them, as I say. There was one guy asked me for advice. I gave him my very best advice. And um, had he taken it, which he didn't do, he would have been three million pounds better off. Probably had himself an honour. So there you are. Um, you know, something like a Charlie Bravo Echo. And, um, you know, he would have been three million pounds better off. And, uh, and also kept his job. Very interesting. So there you are. So <clears throat> the thing with my advice, you can only take the horse to the water. You can't necessarily make them drink. There are John Dunsmore's watching. Dinky do. Johnny Barrett. Uh, Robert, stop annoying me, says Jordy Grieve. Um, give me some of that advice, says Ryan David Scott. Absolutely right. Scotty McClue's advice to genuine people is as free as you like. And it would have made him some serious money. I've made some people very, very, very wealthy indeed. It hasn't rubbed off on my good self right enough, but I've made them wealthy and uh, good for that, I say. So there you are. But you've got to take the advice. And this guy, for some reason, thought he knew better. 
Well, there's no accounting for taste. More water for McClure. Right, can everybody share, 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 share. What we're going to find is tonight's program is going to be in two parts. And for some reason, the two parts aren't always um, get, get gobbled up. So there we are. Um, I think what we'll do, will we block Jordy Robert? We could actually block him. And um, that would not be a problem. Uh, although I'm, I'm, I'm a wee bit, uh, I'm, I don't know that I want to block anybody else tonight. Scotty, are you aware there's a donations website to help with funds, etc.? Let me get you a website, says Douglas McPherson. Well, Douglas, we've got um, PayPal and GoFundMe running at the moment. So people just need to take a quid and stick it in there. And uh, let's get the £1,500. Give the numpties a pants down thrashing with your blocker, says Dino the dog. Do you remember the wizard of the big switchboard? If he got a name wrong, we used to call him in and the pants down thrashing. So there we are. I don't know if it's politically correct now, but it certainly was in these days. And um, who else have we got? Kieran Fox, Dinky Doo. Uh, so excellent. Can Jordy and Robert stop that spat on the program, please? That's not what we're about. We're about people coming on. For a bit of chit chat to make their point okay so less of the silliness it's not like scotty mcclue to attract silly people so there you are so jordy behave yourself that's what i say and uh, stop being silly the pair of you right otherwise there will be trouble we don't want that again yes lord says robert devlin i thank you robert devlin i knew you'd be the sensible one so there you are but jordy now needs to behave himself and uh, not waste time on the program. Uh, I'm trying to watch you between Endeavour while the ads are on, says Kieran Fox. <laughs> Endeavour, fantastic. The early Morse. Uh, these things you watch for the cars. Am I not right in thinking there's an old jag in that one as well? Uh, this is a serious man, guys, program. So Ryan Davis got Yes, it is, Ryan. It's a very serious program. It's Scotty Clue, and we like to discuss all these main things. I was thinking today uh, just on a serious subject for a second. Well, I'm saying serious subject. Brexit. Do you think it will actually happen? Because your Brexiteers, as in T-E-A-R-S, seem really to be xenophobes. Uh, that's what's happened there. Send the polis to them, Scotties, as Dean of the Doug. <laughs> yes. There is, says Kieran Fox. What was that, Kieran? What's your answer to that? Okay, Scotty, says Jordy. Good. Jordy's hunkering down a wee bit and calming it. He's learned his lesson. Say hi to my pals, Scotty, Amanda and Leslie, says Annette. Annette, dinky do, of course we'll say hi. No, no, me no, says Jordy. <laughs> Fantastic. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster. Sunday night, nothing gets past me. We had a problem. The program faltered earlier. So tonight will be program 74 in two parts. Part one and part two. Make sure that everybody views both in equal measure. You'd miss me, Scotty, says Jordy. Yes, not a lot, but perhaps. Is Brexit for next year? It may go ahead, but I'm sure this Brexit happened many years ago and got blocked at the last minute. Well, <clears throat> I think Brexit's been very good for taking the um, heat off what's happening in domestic politics at home. So there you are. That's what I think is going on. Do you think the question time is a worthwhile program, Scotty? Do we get honesty from the panellists? Uh, I can remember watching uh, back in the days when Robin D was uh, the uh, chairman of um, question time. And he was very, very good. He was exceptional. And of course, then we had um, uh, David Dimbleby, who is exceptional as well as a broadcaster. But you do wonder sometimes at the makeup of the program, the makeup of the audience, the makeup of the panelists. Are we getting 
uh, the straight answers, all the rest of it. It's very much um, just one of these things, but it is an excellent program, you know. But the, I think the BBC should have a lot more than that. I remember getting in touch with somebody very senior at the BBC and said, you know, why don't you have a program called FLAC and the public can actually come on? I was thinking, of course, McClure would be excellent for chairing it and the public could come on and actually say what they're thinking and we could bring in the Director General, cushioned by McClure, of course, and we could bring in the head of news and we could bring in the senior management and they would be answerable to the public. And I got a nice message back saying we've got points of view already. <laughs> so, <coughs> not what I had in mind. I didn't have in mind something like points of view. Can you get Facebook Live in the big hoose? Do you know the Doug? I've never been in the big hoose, so I wouldn't know. You've probably blocked yourself says rab my wee wife is in a mood scotty because you won't give her a wee mention pal tracy is lying with her broken leg tracy has had a mention she can now take the monk off her face so there we are she doesn't need to be in a wee mood she doesn't need to have the monk on the sad face never mind brexit ban valentine's day says angie now angie why on earth would you want to ban the good saint valentine from uh, when he comes a calling. Um, back son went down for the first time. Oh, back son went down for the first time, says Robert. Oh, so there you go. Uh, excellent stuff. Robert Rogerson, Dinky Doo, and Stevie McKenzie. Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClue. I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small C O double T I E. That's the Scotty McClue, capital M, small C. Capital C L U E. That is the McClue. We're here for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment on a Sunday night, beginning at nine o'clock sharp through until ten o'clock. That's your choice. That's why we wanted to be on. Susan Copland Power. Can you please tell my children, Lyle and Heather, to go to bed, please, Scotty, and a wee kiss. Lyle and Heather, go to bed. No, not another what? Up the stairs, through the hoose, bend the hoose, wherever bed is, but go now. Night, night. All right, will that do? So there we are. Uh, thinks World Book Day should not happen as it falls in the same time as St. David's Day, says Julian Scott. Uh, so there you are. I remember saying to my friend that I would like to go on a radio station in Wales on St. David's Day. Fantastic. I remember going to Wales on St. David's Day. You need to do two hours, Scotty. One hour is not enough, says Steve Burrows. Shelley Boyle, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. One of our top broadcasters. Come on now, Shelley. You come on and have a chit chat. Robert Evans says, I'm putting my son in bed. He went down first time. Usually it takes five minutes to settle. Ah, he knows that Pop's watching McClue, so he doesn't want to waste any of your time, Rab. Uh, did you see that um, one of the councils want to... What have we got here? Yes, yeah, something about a council. I'll not go into that, Ryan, at the moment, since I don't have the facts and they are not here to actually defend themselves. But thanks for the point. I uh, hope you don't you lose your voice, Lord. No, not at all, Robert. Just a wee touch of the lurgy, and it attacks. This is a particularly virulent thing that attacks your chest and your voice oh, and all that sort of stuff. We went to Cardiff Bay, absolutely gorgeous place. Testing, says Alan. Leslie loves the good. Are you testing? Did you do? Guys, let's have a share. Come on. We're not, uh, we're forgetting ourselves here. And uh, we need to have a share. Marvellous stuff. There we are. And uh, I'll just say back now. Um, Marvellous. That's uh, Andrew Dovey is asking me what's happened to the live show. I'll just say that's us back now. Excellent stuff. There you go. Right. Let's do a bit of sharing. Very, very important. Okay. Uh, so we should have two tonight rather than one. All right. Uh, we'll just get that going for you. Oh, 